What's up guys? So this is my 1980 Checkmate. I just finished using it and it's struggling to get up on plane. It's only getting 4300 RPMs and honestly the performance sucks. So I suspect that is my injectors. This is a 2003 250 EFI. Uh, in this model the injectors are inside this intake. I'm gonna take off I think it's probably 8 to 10 screws. And then I'll be able to pop off the intake, take off the injectors, take them to get clean tomorrow, and hopefully be out, out back on the water by Saturday. Alright guys, so we made it here to Fuel Injector USA, and we're going to be dropping off six fuel injectors. So he has this little injector drop off box and by tomorrow afternoon I can come pick them up and they'll be flow tested. He'll give me a printout of what they flowed before and after we cleaned it. So here's his work truck. If you guys are in South Florida and need any fuel services, I recommend this guy. I've used them in the past. Super cool guy. Knows what he's talking about, knows what he's doing. Hit him up. I got the phone call, the injectors are cleaned. It was only a few hours, so let's pick them up and hopefully he tells me that they were dirty because then that will solve my issue. Yeah. So this is your setup? Yeah, this is my setup. So your injector was already tested there. Tell me uh, that they were dirty. It was, yes, it, yes, it was, but not so bad like the first time that you came. Now they were at 89, 89%. That's the before. first time? Yes. Oh. 80%, 95, 88, 86, and 88. So now they are all at 100%, which means that they are flowing in 30 seconds, 110. But what were they flowing when I brought them to you this morning? No, no, this morning is this. This is this morning? Yes. Oh, thank God. I, to I told you <laughs> the last time that you came, yeah, yeah. it was a, a little bit worse. So this is not, oh, okay. Yeah, because I check on the on the report. I have a, I have a, all the reports, okay. history reports. So how did you clean them? What did you do to this clean This is ultrasonic, but first of all, you test it here. And you can see how the injector is working. Okay, that's the spray. You can you can change the that's in flow hour right now, but you can change automatically uh, all the duty cycles on the injector from 36 um, milli, uh, milliseconds. As you see, it's changing. And at the same time that you, it changed the duty cycles, the injector uh, powder test is changing. So after that, you pass the injectors to these tubes and you see how much they flow. Um, these injectors are almost ready. I have, we have a little bit low here, so we have to clean it again in ultrasonic. We put new filters, new O-rings, and that's it. We go to the, to the computer and letting you know how the injectors are. So, so this is what it was yet before, this morning, before, yes. and this is after. And this is after. So we should be able to get 4 p.m.s now. That's I wasn't right. I wasn't able to pass 4400. I will. I'm 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 excited to see your video when you have. No, no, it'll be uh, posted up tomorrow 100% morning. 100% RPM. Yes, man. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But this is the injection. This is the report. It's done. I appreciate your help. Once I saw that, man, I gotta take it back. Yeah. You know, course. gotta take it back. A science experiment, very quick. tanks imagine that the, the glass container is a fuel tank right so the fuel tank you see how bad is that gasoline you know it's not clear right yeah so imagine that you have a little water because the problem with the tank is the water so you see the water here yep okay we have the k100 k100 is a chemical that we use to eliminate water and also increase the octane of the of the fuel. So what basically K100 does is uh, emulsify all the all the all the chemical. 
So it created only one chemical and burned the water. I just wanted that you check how the water will disappear. Oh. And clear completely the, the, the gasoline, oh. increasing the oxygen and clearing the gasoline so that you will obtain better results on the cleaning of your tank and absorbing the water and also increasing the oxygen of the fuel. And how much? Okay, the 38, 32 ounce, which were for 64 um, gallons, is $29 each. What, how much this this works for 16 gallons yeah but this uh this is only for samples because we we don't sell those little bottles oh okay, okay? so you sell the bigger ones yes we sell the bigger ones the name is k100 but you see how amazing it works right water gasoline and this emulsify all in in only one com chemical component and it will never separate again uh, when this is when this stays inside it will not separate again because people think, oh, tomorrow we will have the water again. No, it will not. So if you Add check what happened if, if, uh, if a drop of water came into the tank because of the condensation. I just wanted that you see what happened. Wait a minute. You see how it disappeared? Yeah. It's not amazing? Yeah, it's not there. There's a little blob down there, but not really there no more. Yeah. It's not there anymore. It's see? gone. Yeah, it's gone. This is the power of K100. Definitely better than seafoam. Of course. <laughs> of course. I ran a lot of seafoam through these injectors and they didn't do anything. A hundred times. Yeah, it would not do anything. This, this, this product lasts. It's very good. And where can they get this? Where people we can are, buy it directly are, off you? We are distributor here in Florida. Okay. We distribute this product to different uh, stores, and also we use every day uh, the fuel polishing uh, truck. This all, is what you use. Always. Okay. We cannot guarantee our job if we don't use them. Perfect. The and they can buy it online. They can buy. It. They have it in Amazon, but it's not selling by me. No, by you. How can they buy it from you? Or For you me, personally that personally yes yeah they have to come here or okay. they have to order by phone and send it by UPS got it perfect well I'm gonna get one of these <laughs> I need to put one of these in my gas tank super cool guy here's his number guys you has you guys have any fuel issues give him a call All right. let's go let's go put it back on the checkmate and get full RPM mm -hmm.